फ्रेंड्स आई एम आर्किटेक्ट सोनो राय फ्रॉम ग्रीन लैंडस्केप एंड आर्किटेक्चरल डिजाइन स्टूडियो ट्रेड स्टूडियो एंड टुडे आई एम हेयर विथ अनदर वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल इन रेविट आर्किटेक्चर एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट रेलिंग्स इन द लास्ट वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट रैम्प्स एंड वी सॉ डिफरेंट मेथड्स ऑफ ड्राइंग रैम्प्स सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट रेलिंग्स सो आई एम गोइंग टू माय आर्किटेक्चर टैब एंड आई एम गोइंग टू माय रेलिंग्स व्हिच इज जस्ट अबव रैम्प and if you uh, click this uh, there is uh, one is a sketch path and another is place on stair and ramp so i am going to discuss first about a sketch path so uh, this is my uh, project for a client and i want to place railings on this uh, first floor second floor and uh, so i want to place this railing so i will do this uh, by using this sketch path method and um, second one i will tell you how will you utilize that so i am going to my level 2 uh, which is first floor and uh, this is my uh, first floor uh, roof here and we are required to place railing here and this is my cornice i am molding so we need not worry about that so i am going to uh, railing sketch path it will select this sketch path now it will uh, show properties of railings this is glass panel so by default in revit there are some uh, types of railings which is glass panel bottom fill guardrail pipe guardrail rectangular handrail pipe and handrail rectangular so we will uh, discuss it and now i am going to use uh, glass panel only and i am going to use this uh, drop panel here and i am using this line command also use a rectangular command and a polygon command also so for understanding i am going to use this line command and i am going to draw as for my slab and i am going to clip it here and now again you have to continue till here and now i am going to draw till here and now you, you are going to finish this and we'll go to our uh, default 3d view and you can see railing is placed and you can copy this railing also you can copy this by using copy to clipboard paste align to the selected levels and you can uh, move it to higher level also Oh yes, I think it is. I am going to mm, select this railing, copy, paste, align to selected level, and I am going to level five, which is this one. And you can rename it also. And uh, likewise, you can change the properties of the railing. I am going to select this railing. and it can change is to uh, guardrail pipe also you click guardrail pipe is it will change to guardrail pipe if you want uh, guardrail rectangular it will change to guardrail rectangular like this one and you can use any type of default railings and you can use different varieties of railings so uh, and also if you want to place it here which is also um, on our first floor this front part so i am going to my level 2 and you can use again your railing sketch path and you can use this line command only and i am going to draw from here to here here and you have to make sure it should be connected all railings should be connected otherwise suppose uh, this all corner are joined except this one so if you click this your railings will not form it will show as a error so i am going to continue this and i am going to join this line with this one and also we have to trim this now it is completed i am going to finish edit mode and you can see 
or railing is formed if you go to your uh, view 3d view and you can see your railing is formed but uh, these corners uh, like some post and balusters are visible here so i am going to select this railing and you can go to this properties edit type and you can check here if you want at level 2 you can make it at level 2 and now here is base offset means how much offset you want from your uh, floor level and this you will select this offset from path 0 feet 0 inches so suppose i am moving this little bit further i'm making it uh, 1 inch and apply you see it is coming outside one inch more so I, we have to go to negative value i'm going to take it as minus two inch and i'm going to apply and you can see it is perfectly placed inside this look so likewise you can make adjustment to railings and in railings there are a lot of settings if you go to your edit type and uh, if you select your uh, railing and if you go to your edit type there are uh, many settings for rail, rail structure and baluster placement that we'll discuss in the uh, next video tutorial you can change the height from here also that is by default it is three feet and you can change this to four feet five feet and as per your design so uh, that we'll discuss in coming tutorial so this is the basic method of drawing railings and there are uh, many other uh, methods of drawing railing also so i'm going to my uh, level one and uh, i'm going to my architecture tab and again i'm going to select this uh, railing sketch path and now you can use this rectangular command suppose uh, i want to uh, draw railing at top top of this uh, roof suppose i'm going to this uh, roof level and suppose there is cut out and if you want to draw a railing so i am going to select this uh, roof uh, which is at level 6 so we will go to our level 6 and we will draw a railing here using some other commands and uh, now i am going to use this rectangle uh, drawing method so i am going to use a rectangle here and suppose this is 5 feet to seven, 6 feet to 7 feet cutout here you suppose you can uh, make a cutout in roof by using your floor edit command and if you go to your uh, in default 3d view you can see this is by use of rectangular drawing sketch method and you can change to any other types so likewise you can use uh, polygon and circular drawing as a method which will save times and it will go to level 6 and you can go to architecture railing sketch path you can use this circle also and you can finish and take into your default 3d view this is the circular railing so uh, suppose if you are making any marketing complex or shopping and there is cut out it will save a lot of time so uh, this is the um, basics method of drawing uh, railings and in the uh, tutorial I'll uh, tell you about detail about railings in settings how we'll do advanced railings. So now the next uh, is our if we go to this uh, is place on stairs or ramp. So suppose uh, this is our staircase without railings and uh, suppose if you want to place a uh, railing here you will go to use this place on a stairs and ramp i will click this and now i will bring my cursor mouse here and i am going to select this pick us a stair and that's all uh, your railing is placed and for ramp i i discussed in last video tutorial how we place a uh, floor uh, ramp how we'll place railings so you can see that video tutorial and suppose if you want to make railings here you can simply go to your railing place on a stair ramp and you can select this steps and railing is placed here and you can change this uh, 
default setting so uh, if you create your own uh, railing family it will take a lot of time so you can download many things from internet so i have collected for you you have to go to google and type download revit railings and you will go to this 100 plus revit railings and fence families measured building and you can download uh, many free railings here very different types of railing you can use it in your project i have downloaded for you this is like rail concrete baluster families so i am going to uh, i have downloaded this so i am going to insert this in my revit project and we'll wait it is getting comfortable from autorex revit 2009 to 2021 and you can use these types of railings in your project so suppose i have selected this uh, concrete baluster railing and i am going to copy this and uh, I am going to my default 3D view and I am going to paste this here so uh, if I want to utilize this uh, baluster railing so I can select this and we can use this match properties types and I am going to select these balusters and I am going to select my this uh, railings and you can see how easily I have applied this concrete balusters here which can save a lot of time if you create your families it is very lengthy process in Revit so there are many free railings available on the internet we can download and directly use in our project so you can see it is perfectly placed and you can uh, use our second railings also you can directly drag and drop into your Revit project and we can paste it anywhere and now uh, we will use same method and you can select this as to select uh, this and I am using match the properties this one to this one you can see it is perfectly placed here so so this was the basic tutorial about uh, railing and in the next video tutorial we will see some advanced setting in railing so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe my channel thanks